Welcome to Enoch Baptist Church, a church where love grows. Are you looking for a church home where you can worship and praise God in a celebratory environment? If so, then Enoch Baptist Church is the place for you. We believe in equipping all saints so that they can live their lives in a happy, healthy, and self-fulfilled environment. We believe this is the only way that we can truly give God the glory and celebrate how wonderful it is to be a child of the living God. <laughs> yeah. Everything I got. Mm. 
and 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 that's 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 a shame in my opinion because because Jesus came to show us that no matter what weapon the devil throw at you, yes. it, it is not enough to keep you down. In, 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 in fact, in fact, in fact, what we need to appreciate is that a part of life is the ability to bounce back from whatever comes your way. Thank you, Lord. And 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 so and so we have to take this as our example. Of, of, of what he has in store for each of us because most of most of your bounce back uh, ability is, is, is predicated on how you view where God has you at the present point in time. All right. When you know you already have the victory, yes. even being in the fire yes. can be a blessed experience. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Amen. Because when you know you're coming out, yes, sir. you will shout while you're going All to in there. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, now, here's, here's the backdrop, and I, I'm going to drop this on you because today, traditionally, we do the Lord's Supper, but I realize that a lot of folks don't understand the victory that is representative of the Lord's Supper. Amen. And, and so every, 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 every Lord's Supper day ought to be such an exciting day. Yes. You can understand this. Amen. Amen. Because it is, it is, it is symbol, symbol, symbolism of our victory. Man. Now, here's why Paul felt it necessary to regurgitate this for these folks, because he understood that they did not get a clear picture of what they had through the life of Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and his resurrection, his going to the tomb and coming back up. And so when they were partaking of the Lord's Supper, they weren't quite cluing in on what it really meant to them. Once you can really focus on what it means, it changes your whole outlook on life. When you really can see what God did for you yes. and the sacrifice he made for you, yes. it will change how you do your, even your own self-work. Yes. You will come to understand how valuable you are as an individual when you know what he did to bring you where you are right now. Yes. You see what I'm talking about? And so he said, so Paul says that, that I want you to get what I got. He said the same thing that I got, mm. the same thing that was given to me, I will give it to you. I want you to know what it means to be a child of the living God. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. You know, it, 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 it hurts me sometimes when I think about the joy that people don't have. Come on, I'm not calling that to God. I want you to get what I have gotten from this world. I want you to know that you have a victory that surpasses yeah. your own yeah. understanding. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to know that there is nothing that the devil can do to keep you down. Nah, nah. You can let him keep you down. Nah, nah. But he does not have the power nah, nah. or the authority nah, nah. to keep you down. Stay so Preach that. And so if you we, we want to understand the historical significance, but then see how it is applied to us in 2019. Because there are three things we're dealing with when it was originally done, when Christ implemented the transition, and how it affects us today in 2019. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now here's what you, we all understand, that, that what Christ did was he was going with his disciples so that they could partake of what they call the Passover meal. Mm -hmm. It was the Passover for them. It was a time to celebrate victory. See, don't you know that today ought to be a celebrate victory yeah. day? Yeah. 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 What they were celebrating, for those of you who may not have the historic history quite there, there was a time when the children were in captivity in Egypt land. And they had prayed and said, God, we're tired of being enslaved. Uh -huh. We need you to come and set us right. free. Yeah, and so in coming to set them free, God had to do a, a various miracles to let Pharaoh know that you got to let my people go. go. Because anytime somebody got you enslaved, they won't let you go voluntarily because uh. they want to keep you under their control. See, some of us right now are worried because there are some folks that are trying to keep us trapped down. And so we get upset because they won't voluntarily let us go. But it's all right. Like God got a miracle right around the corner for me. That's going to show somebody who God is so they don't have to lose that grip they got on you. And you going to come out of your captivity. And when you come out of your captivity, they're going to see 
how great God is in your life. And Amen. so one of the miracles, one of the final miracles that God performed to show Pharaoh how great he was is that he sent the deaf angel mm -hmm. to Egypt land. Yeah. But he tells, the, he tells the Hebrews what I want you to do is I want you to get the blood. There's something about the blood. Yeah. You to get the blood of the sacrificial lamb and paint it on the doorpost. And when the deaf angel comes by, he will see the blood and he will pass you by. Amen. Uh -huh. Let me, can I throw that by a second or two? And when he sees the blood, he'll pass you by. See, here's what I know about Michael G. Daniel. If God were to see me for who I am, I would be dead and gone right now. When I look back at some of the things I have shared, some of the places I have gone, some of the folks I have hung around in, if God looked at me for who I am, Yeah. So, 
So, so that was to show the transition to say, well, hey, listen, this is um, we're transitioning from the Passover to the Lord's Supper because now I'm representing not what happened and how the Israelites got out, but now I'm representing how you can get out. Which brings me to today, 2019, because that's what you want to know about. You want to know how this thing will affect me in 2019. Well, here's what he said. This is my body, which is broken for you. Now, what that does is we know that Christ came to be an example for each of us. To show us something about how the world was going to treat us. He said, if they treat me a certain way, then they're going to treat you a certain way. You see, he let us know something about how the world going to treat us now that we have elected to become his children. That just like the world tried to bring him down, that now the world is going to try to bring you down. So it's going to try to break you all right. Satan is going to throw every tool he has in his bag to try to break you and turn you around so you won't lift up and give God the glory. Because Satan wants to get in your head and tell you that you made the wrong decision when you praised your God. But Satan just don't know who he's messing with when he starts messing with Michael G. Daniels. Because for me, I don't care what you do, you can bring the worst stuff you got because I know what God has done for me. And so what he says to me now is that when you get broken, you might be broken and you might be bruised, but you ain't gonna stay where you are. And I'm gonna put this thing in context for you in a second because and you know all of us know that we have faced some situations in our lives where we thought we won't go get out of. But look at what God did for you. Now, what I need now is for somebody who's out there with me to testify to somebody who's beside them about how they have been battered and how they have been bruised but how they have been healed. And what God has done for them in this life. And to go through the transition. But because you had Jesus on your side, but every time you got beat down, every time the devil thought you won't go around,
way you can help somebody else get it. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you something, Sam. The world is in trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good word, Richard. The world is in trouble. Yes, sir. Yeah. The families are in trouble. Yes, yeah. God. And it, it is because we have forgotten who got us where we are. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean this sincerely. I'm going to drop this so I don't let you go. I mean this is this, 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 this. Let me tell you something. When I say we have forgotten, you know, uh, uh, here's what we do different than what the Bible tells us to do. How many of you today, that if you won the lottery mm -hmm. and won that for the 449 million, is that, is that close to what it is? Mm -hmm. like y'all don't know. You don't think about it. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. There ain't the devil. They got the tickets in their pockets. If you had won, if you had won the lottery, if you had won the lottery, would you have the money from your children? Mm. No. <laughs> Somebody left. See, if, if, if I won, well, see, you can't spend four hundred in a lifetime. In your life. Amen. And if you love your children, let me put it this way. If you love your children, you ain't gonna hide it. You gonna give them some of it. Amen. If I love your children, now let me tell you something. Why I say he said this dude in the room to me. I'm gonna close out with this right here. You know how many of us have won the lottery because we are saved? Mm. Uh, yeah. We're not saved because we deserve it. We're saved because of grace. Yeah. We know we're trifle, yeah. but we hit the lottery when we got saved. Yeah. 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 Wow. wow. But we don't give it to our children. Woo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We don't give it to those that we love. Mm -hmm. We keep it to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we tell them, you can go hit the lottery yourself if you want to. Mm. Wow. Those uh, in the church are open. Good word, yeah, people. Oh. In the case of the Bible, I don't want to see anybody in this heaven. Amen. I love you too much to see you in this heaven. If you're here and you have not received Christ as your personal Savior, He died. Then you might have.